Welcome back. Today I'm very pleased to welcome to Photoshow 90 our special guest from Sanyo, Alan Howe, who's joined me to talk about their new range of products. Alan, welcome to the hallowed halls of this magnificent room. Yeah, thanks very much. It yeah. is imposing, really, isn't it? Yes, it is, yes, yes. Now, your equipment here, you've got a couple of items I know that I have seen on the marketplace before and one which I haven't, so if you'd like to run me through them, I'd be obliged. Right, well, this is our VMD6, which is our budget price camcorder at the present time. And it's doing very well indeed, um, especially leading up to Christmas. What, it's got what constitutes a, a budget price, if you don't Well, mind basically, asking. it's the price itself, which is at uh, 699 And um, it's basically got a lot of features packed in there, but mm. it's basically the price. Yeah, and that mm. is a good price. I buy mm. camcorder standards. Mm. That's excellent is. stuff. Yeah. And this one is... Uh, this one is our sort of flagship of the range, which is our high-band camcorder, mm -hmm. our BMH100P. And uh, this is just under £1,000. And this is uh, our flagship with the high band facility. So we have to explain to people the differential between those two is high band is is uh, the state pucker. of the art, yes, isn't it? And you're art. getting near professional That's sort of right, results on right, it yes, as well. Yes. Are there many more features on this camera than, for instance, the? Uh, the oh yes, indeed. Shows? There's a, a, a more impressive digital titler. Uh -huh. Although there is one on that, but nevertheless, this has got three titles. Um, and it's also got slow motion as well, which is very, very ah, handy. Yes, so yes. you, in effect, speed up That's the tape right. inside so you get a slow motion when you play it back. And it's also remote controlled. And noise free, I would think. Yes, of course, absolutely. Slow motion. Oh, good. So it's packed yes. with goodies in that one. It is, that one. Mm. Now, these, as I've said already, I've seen before, that up there, which is now being brought down here, <laughs> uh, looks very yes. different to me. This is. Uh, uh, unusual and new shape uh, called the Zima machine, mm -hmm. and this basically means fuzzy machine. Now fuzzy. we're going to talk about fuzzy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now this now, this worries me. Before you go any further, this I'm going to enjoy this conversation because if you can use the word fuzzy in right. conjunction with a with a camcorder, then you're a brave company. Right. Go well, and explain. Fuzzy basically means the type of logic we're using in the technology terms. Yeah. It doesn't mean anything about the quality of the picture no, at obviously, all. Obviously, obviously. And it's directly come from the computer world, fuzzy. Right. logic. Uh, but in fact, the quality uh, of the operations of autofocus, the auto iris function, works extremely well compared with normal logic. Mm -hmm. And basically what it does, it produces a human uh, sensing device uh, on the autofocus and auto iris system that allows the finite adjustment of autofocus and auto iris levels. So you get a much better quality picture for focus and also uh, the auto iris system which provides the type of light required for the actual camera. So when you're talking about uh, being a bit more pin sharp presumably in terms of focus, how is that different from something that just would, would in an SLR mode, say, lock on as a, as a focus to something? Right. How different is that? Right. Well, with, with SLR, generally, it's um, you're focusing on a particular subject. With actual video, you're focusing on anything that's and, moving. And, of course, it's constantly moving and constantly changing Constantly moving, yeah. and you're actually recording that onto your tape. Mm. So you have to have a special type of logic which will actually handle that. Now, mm. in previous machines, that's used normal logic in previous right. machines, and unfortunately, although it's very good, it doesn't follow 100% the actual moving target. But with this system, it can evaluate the actual moving target and give you a perfect autofocus and the lighting conditions as well. So we're talking about computers going berserk. Can I just Absolutely. take a, a, a feel at this, yes. as it were? We call it's it the binocular feel. The binocular <laughs> feel, yeah. It's actually, yes. it's quite a comfortable yes. way to hold a camera, it really. Is. Um, it is. It's a complete break in the concept of just one-handed. Yeah. We found that a lot of people use 35mm cameras with two hands. Yes, they do. So, mm. fairly logical to develop a camcorder that goes the same way. That's right. Now, w we talked in terms of prices on those two. Before mm. we leave you on this, we, I think a lot of people out there are going to be saying, OK, yes, 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 we like that. Yes. How much do I have to go into the building society for? Right. Well, we're talking about a price just under £900. Oh, that's not bad. That's no. not bad at all. No. Not less than I thought. Mm. Well, that's an excellent camera. Uh, it's obviously full of features. And fuzzy logic, as we have all learned, is now something really special. Yes. Um, it's very kind of you to bring these, this stuff in. This oh, is an pleasure. excellent and, and uh, innovative idea. I love that word, innovative. <laughs> yes. Thank you for joining us today. That was super. My pleasure. Well, in next week's show, we'll be hoping to show you some of the competition entries that, even as I speak, are being rushed to us by postmen all over the country. There'll be news of all the latest exhibitions and product developments, as always. And William Chung from Practical Photography will be returning with more tips and wrinkles.
his, not mine, on how to improve your picture taking. We'll see you then. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.